Hi there. Thank you for joining me on the Passionate Podcast. This is your host Sagar Mehta and today I want to talk about when is the right time to start following your passion. Are you too old? Have you missed the boat? I am too old to follow my passion. It's too late to do what I love to do. This is by far the most common reason i won't call it an excuse that people have whenever you ask them why they aren't doing what they are passionate about this is something i've struggled with personally i've always thought that i'm too old to do what i want to do even though i'm just 28 as i'm recording this no matter what we are doing in life we tend to say that this is how it was meant to be this is our destiny Even if you are in a job with a crappy boss you think this is how it was all meant to be. And just to make ourselves feel good we add the following. I'm just waiting until something better comes along or once I have enough money in the bank I'll get back to whatever my passion is. We keep waiting until a point comes where we start to believe not just think that it is never going to happen because it is too late. too late to be an opera singer too late to be a choreographer too late to be a yoga master too late to old we go from i will do it someday to i will never be able to do it now rather quickly we just accept things the way they are but when you think about it destiny is a very fluid concept or thing it's not already a given what we call destiny is called so only in retrospect and what that destiny would be is something that we are constantly shaping in two ways first by what we decide to do and second and i believe more importantly by what we decide not to do so when you're deciding not to follow your passion because you're too old you're shaping your future to be one where you are somebody who did not follow their passion when you say that it is too late to do what you love you are cementing your destiny to be one where you only had the regret of not starting it back when you had the chance and i find it a bit funny how as you get near to completing a decade the belief that the last decade was the best decade to have started it starts to creep in even around the middle of every year the thought that you should have started back last year when you made that new year resolution keeps showing up over and over i think there is a certain owning up that we need to do for being where we are But having said that age is a very real thing it's a very real number it's not stamped on our foreheads and yet your mind is always aware that you're getting old or older if that makes you feel any better that's a George Carlin joke by the way anyway getting back to age being a real factor age is a real factor and there's possibly an ideal age to start doing what you love to do Maybe it's 5 years old that is when Mozart started out and he produced some of the greatest music in the world. I think this whole idea that we are too old comes from us looking at our idols, people we look up to. And when we think about where we want to go with our passion, we see celebrities or whoever the top people in our area of interest might be. I personally look up to a lot of pop and rock artists because I am a singer and songwriter myself and I see that they are really passionate about what they are doing they love it and they are coming up with all this awesome stuff all the time new albums sold out concerts features on other people's songs and what not I know they have put in a lot of hard work behind that and that's why it seems impossible that I'll ever make it sitting where I do it's only natural So that didn't work out and I couldn't look at my idols and mimic what they were doing. So my next step was to look at people who were like me, people who were starting late or people who had a job or a business, a spouse, kids, mortgages and so on, but were doing something they really liked on the side, giving it an honest shot. So I turned on shows like America's Got Talent, American Idol, Britain's Got Talent and so on, where people like you and me were getting recognized for what they loved to do. But even after looking at someone who is starting a singing career at 40 or delivering an amazing dance performance at 80 years old did not drive me to follow and live my passion. Here is why. I was looking at those people and seeing their success. I'm not talking about my idols. I'm talking about people like you and me who got on these shows and got recognized doing what they love to do. 
So we are always looking at successes no matter who we look at. And often people who are successful have a very similar story to us. Similar struggles, problems, challenges and life stories. But looking at them doesn't drive us simply because them being successful makes them not like us. Why? Partly because we believe success happens at random and there are simply too many variables that are out of our control. They know those variables because they put in the time and you, of course, don't. So we are old and on top of that, we are too old to reach that level of success. That's when I realized I was looking at it the wrong way. I may be too old to get where I want to be. But if it is simply about getting where your idols are, then you are following your passion for the wrong reasons. I think we've got to stop looking at success stories for inspiration and start focusing on actions instead. Even if you could find someone exactly like you who has had success, wouldn't success still have the same variables behind it? And the way I've tried to tackle it for myself is to tell myself that I would rather write a song today than not write one at all. No, it's not going to be on the Billboard Top 100. I don't even qualify because I don't write in English. It's not going to go viral. It's most likely going to suck and sink in the ocean of music that the internet is. But I will write it and release it just because. Your age is not why you can't start up with your passion. Your age should be why you do. Follow your passion because it makes you happy. Follow your passion because it fills you up with energy. Follow your passion because it helps you relax. Follow your passion because you lose track of time when you do it. Follow your passion because it leaves a smile on your face. Follow your passion because follow your passion. There's no age limit on being happy and content. And there's no age limit on when you can start, only when you can stop. And even that's uncertain. So why not start right now? Thank you for joining me on this episode of The Passionate Podcast. And I'll catch you on the next one.